Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SD Tutorials. My name is Dr. Joseph. In today's video, I shall be taking you Chem 1 to 4 carbon nanowatt compounds. In this video, I shall be teaching you how to prepare ketone and what aldehyde. Ketone is otherwise called alkane, then aldehyde is otherwise called what alkane. Take note of that. Now, I shall be splitting this topic into three divisions. The first one will be the preparation of aldehyde and ketone. The second video will be on the various reactions the both undergo. The third video will be on the various reagents used to test all these compounds. The reagents used are usually the especially two for dinitrophenyl hydrazine. It is used to test all general carbonyl compounds. All right. You now have the Benedi solution and all the Fehling solution. So please, what we are going to be discussing right now is the preparation of all the tone and all the high. Let us get started. Carbonyl compounds are compounds whose carbon atom is doubly bonded to what an OCD atom. If I have it like this. This is what an aldehyde. You can see that this carbon atom is going to be bonded to what oxygen. And I have on that one. This is what a ketone. You can see now that this carbon this carbon atom is attached to what an oxygen atom. They are what carbonyl compounds. Now let us discuss how they are prepared. How are these EGS prepared? Number one. You know, in my previous class, uh, I told you that when the primary alcohol is oxidized in the presence of what potassium permanganate and uh, potassium hepta also dichromate seven, I told you that those are the two oxidizations that can be used to oxidize primary and secondary water alcohol. Let us get started. Now, I have I have CH3, CH2, CH2. OH. This is what? An alkanol. Then I have a potassium permanganate. And I have potassium hecta also dichromate what seven. Now if I should if I should oxidize this entity, I'm gonna be having CH3, CH2, then CH2. Look at it. let me illustrate it better. I have I have three, I have two, I have two, I have what? Okay? I have it and I want I have what? Maybe it. You can see that right? Now for me to carry out oxidation, I will have to remove one atom of hydrogen. You know you have hydrogen here. So if I should remove this one, if I should remove this one, become CH3. CH2 and what? C. Okay. Okay, become CH3. Okay, hydrogen atom is two, right? So we have to remove two hydrogen atoms. Alright, which means you have CH3, CH2, and CHO. You can see CHO. So please, this is what? Aldehyde. We have successfully prepared what? Aldehyde. Aldehyde is prepared when a primary alcohol. Is what oxidized in the presence of what? Potassium permanganate and what? Potassium uh, hepta also dichromate what? Seven. That is for that. Please take note of this. I said it in my initial class. I told you that during oxidation using this oxidizing agents, potassium permanganate will change from purple to what? Colorless. Then this other idiot will change from orange. To change from orange to what? Green. To change from orange to what? Green. So please take it of that. Another method or another way of producing an alkanal is the ozonesis of alkene. Ozonesis. Ozonesis of what? Alkene. You know alkene, uh, alkenes are otherwise called olefins. And have what double bonds in their atoms. So I'll do like this CH3, CH2, CH, CH3. And please, okay, you have CH2, 
Ozone, please don't forget ozone. Ozone, alright? So please, in doing that, I will not be having a what? A canal, a canal. Don't forget, in the presence of what? Water. Sorry? Are you not telling me it's there? And water is what? There. What am I going to be having? I'm going to be having CH3. Then I have two CH3. Then CH2, CH1. So look at an canal as a word prepared through ozonesis of what? Akin. Ozonesis of Akin is one of the methods of very what? A canal. This is what? An A canal. Alright, or aldehyde. Another way of producing an A canal is through reduction. Reduction of what? Acid chlorides. Right? When an acid chloride is reduced in the presence of two reducing agents, which are aluminum tetra ozo dichromate 6, or the one acid chloride is CH3, CHCOCl, in the presence of what reducing agent, which are sodium tetrahydrobromate 3. And lithium tetrahydro aluminates theory. Right, so these are the two re uh, reducing agents used. So if I should reduce these idiots, I'll be having them like this CH3, CH4. Alright, so please take note of that. And of course, you will agree with me that this is what? Uh, aliphatic. Acid what? Chloride. And the fatty acid chloride is what? A straight chain. Alright? I can also do it like this. If I have a... This marker is giving me issues. Don't forget, we are preparing what? At the height. We are preparing at the height. Then, if I should also... There's what I call Rosemond reaction. Okay? Rosemond what? Reaction. Rosemond reaction is a reaction in which in which an aliphatic or uh, aldehyde or compounds is reacted to what? Acid chloride. In which a benzene ring is, is reacted with what? An acid chloride. Is a rub of this one to produce another height CH4O. All right, so look at it, look at it here. Please, a Rosemond reaction is a reaction in which a benzene ring is uh, reacted with is that correct? Oh, 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 this uh, uh, clap uh, reaction, please. No, 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 no. Thank God. It's not, it's not, it's not. Thank God. You see, they are various names. So, I'm going to be reacting an aliphatic CH2. Then I have COCl. There is a more reaction, a type of reaction in which. Uh, acid chloride is reacted with palladium, partially poisoned with what? Sulfur to reduce what? Effectiveness, right? It's a type of reaction in which an acid chloride is what? Reduced in the presence of palladium that is what? Partially what? Poisoned in order to reduce what? Effectiveness. In doing that, I'm going to be having what? In doing that, I'm going to be having CH3, CH4, oh, is that not correct? CH3, CH4. Alright, so, don't forget. 
So these are the ways of preparing of preparing what? Aldehyde. These are the ways of what? Preparing aldehyde. So the next one is uh, the next one is don't forget when I made mention of reduction reaction, right? Aliphatic compounds can also be reduced. If I act like this, I'm just trying to be very careful here so I don't do the wrong thing. Cl. It can also be reduced in the presence of what? Um, lithium aluminum what? hydride. It can, this aliphatic uh, acid chloride can be reduced to what? Aldehyde in the presence of what? Lithium aluminum what? hydride. Or what? Butoxide. You have Alright, in the presence of what? A butoxide. Look at the catalyst use. Lithium aluminum what? hydride. To produce what? And to produce a lot. Acanal. CH what? CO. CH what? Alright, you can see that an acanal has what? Produced. Please, Rosemont reaction is a reaction. That involves the reduction of acid chloride in the presence of what? Palladium that has been partly poisoned to produce what? An aldehyde. Rosemond reaction. Take note of that. It is very important. So I've given you the various ways in which aldehyde are what? Prepared. Now let us go to ketone. How are ketone prepared? How do we prepare ketone? Ketone. Ketone. Please let me get a better board up at least. How are ketone prepared? Preparation of what? Ketone. Ketone is also prepared when secondary alcohol is what? Oxidized. When secondary alcohol is what? Oxidized, it will produce what? This is what? And how can I know? One, two, three, four, five. Well, I can do it like this. Alright, this is what? And how can I know? Look at the exercise legend. That is. So, number two, I can also prepare an acano by through what? Ozonesis of what? Akin, the same thing. Ozonesis. Ozonesis of. It's only six of what? Akin. Look at it here. I have CH3, CH2, alright? Now, in the presence of ozone, then, and a, and a, okay a ketone be produced during what the process right so now have ch3 that's two then i have ch2 then i have c how many ch2 how many carbon atoms one two three four five okay Okay, so a ketone has got produced. Look at the functional group here, ketone. Ozone is support, akin. That is it. Then about three, we can also prepare a ketone from a dicarboxylic what, acid. Dicarboxylic acid in the presence of what? Barium oxide. Look at it here. COOH. You can see this is what a dicarboxylic what, acid in the presence of what? Barium oxide when heated. Alright? It will produce what? An acanone. Acanone.
and I can know now the word to do it. Don't forget, I can know. And I can know is also prepared from fried, fried reaction. Hey, this I need a better matter. Excuse me. Let me check if I have my pencil in my bag. Ah, is that my phone? Right. Oh wow, where is this marker? Where did I put it just now? Excuse me. Yeah, I've got I've got a better one. Now we can also prepare a a canon from what? Through the craft what? Installation. Through the craft installation. What does it mean? It's a way of producing an alkanol by reacting a benzene ring with what? An acid chloride in the presence of what? A catalyst called aluminum what? Chloride. In the process, an alkanol is what? Produced. And now can only what produce. So please take note of that. Um oh, I did like this. This is what uh alkanol. Since the carbon atom is directly attached to what uh benzene, this is what acetone, acetophenol, acetone. You know, and right, so please take that. So these are the gross ways of preparing what an acanon. So at this point, we'll call it a day. In our next video, I shall be teaching you the various reactions that add the high and ketones undergo. So please have a wonderful day.